winner of season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, Tony Ferguson tore out of the gate in the UFC with finishes of Ramsey Nitchum and Aaron Riley and a decision victory over Eve Edwards. But after a loss to Michael Johnson, injuries kept him from continuing his trip up the lightweight ladder. Tonight, Ferguson makes his long-awaited return. But if another Ultimate Fighter veteran, season 15's Mike Rio has his way, he will be the one returning to the win column in style, not El Kukui. Coming up next, Mike, the Wolverine Rio, takes on Tony, El Kukui Ferguson. of the Ultimate Fighter, a serious grappler with some really nice wrestling and nice submission skills. That is his specialty. Has a good stand-up game as well, but really known, really known for his grappling and his submission ability. And it's one of the things that makes this an interesting fight. Tony Ferguson, also known as a grappler, and a very good striker himself, so interesting to see where this fight goes. Two-time NAIA champion in wrestling, and has had two fights, both in the house, and two fights in the official UFC on the Tough 16 finale. Submitted John Kofer, and fought in his last bout, UFC on FX was submitted by Francisco Trinaldo. Very solid fighter with an excellent opportunity here tonight taking on the former Ultimate Fighter champion, Tony Ferguson. since May of 2012 in losing a decision to Michael Johnson. He broke his arm and went through quite serious repairs to that, including he had to have some plates put in there, screws. It was quite a gnarly injury. It lasted a long time. A lot of rehab, and he's finally coming back into the octagon and taking on a man in Mike Rio known for his grappling. Tony has worked a lot on his guard game and, of course, known for his serious knockout power. Broke his left forearm in that fight that you talked about in the Meadowlands. And he's changed things up a bit as far as his training. Been at the Rain Training Center. He has worked diligently with Mark Munoz and his team. And he has also trained at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. And is really working his ground game to try to advance the head instructor, Casey Halstead, at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu Costa Mesa. Eddie Bravo told me that Tony's really been working diligently and improving that facet of his mixed martial arts attack. Yeah, Eddie told me that Tony has a serious dart choke and his guard has really improved in leaps and bounds. And as you said, Tony known for his brutal knockout power. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. The Wolverine, Mike Rio, three years the elder of Tony Ferguson, who is two inches taller and will have a six inch reach advantage. Once again with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record. Nine wins, two losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Mike the Wolverine Rio.
And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, only a professional record, 14 wins, 3 losses, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Ventura, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the Ultimate Fighter Season 13 winner, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Kerry Hatley will be our referee. There is the beautiful Chrissy Hubbard. Working tonight with Ariani. You ready? Ready? Let's go to work. Rio and Ferguson. And we are underway. Black trunks for Mike Rio. Blue trunks for Tony Ferguson. And he does have some dynamic hand speed. Good jab there by Rio. Look to set up the takedown there. Nice leg kick by Ferguson. Nice leaping hook by Rio. And he's looking for this, Mike. Oh, caught him on the left hook. Looking to get that takedown is Rio. Very good. Really relentless. working for it. Good sprawl here by Ferguson. And remember, Ferguson has a nasty Darce choke. And this is how it's set up from this very position. Rio turns it around. Double underhooks by Rio. Rio, the two time NAIA champion in wrestling. Looking for the underhook, nothing there. Ferguson lead right. Good combination there by Ferguson. A little bit of blood coming out of the nose of Rio. Good sprawl. Good. Oh, solid sprawl. Holding on to the neck here with his front choke. That was a team rain. Nice sprawl knee to the right shoulder. There. That's legal. Yep. Ferguson, a very physically strong guy. Had a seven-fight winning streak snapped by Michael Johnson when he snapped his forearm in the fight. It's a fairly common injury when guys block kicks with their forearm. Oh, good left hook by oh, yeah. Ferguson. Rio's in trouble. Rio's in trouble. He's going to look and for the that next. Darce. There's that Darce choke again, sliding it through. He's rolling for it. Can he, he locked get it? it up. This is his thing. Looking to finish right here. This is his technique. He loves this technique. He got it. It is all over. Tony Ferguson, as Beautiful advertised, job. finishes Beautiful. with the choke. And that is his technique, ladies and gentlemen. And a long, tall guy like that, it's a perfect build for that technique. Kendall Grove was always known for yes. that technique as well. Right here. Right it really here. works well on a long, tall guy like Ferguson. Slid that arm perfectly in position. And the way he rolled on it, Look, it's the left hook that starts it out. Check out this left hook by Ferguson. Pink right there. Caught him. Nice short left hook. Let's take another look. On the jaw. His punch got there first. Rio dips. You see it's hurt bad there. Tried to cover up. But look how Ferguson takes this. Rolls over onto his back. That's how confident he is in that darts choke. And kept scooting with it. And then look at this. Tied up the arm. With his legs, it's just such a tight choke. He's just got that technique down. Eddie Bravo gave us the heads up to watch out for the Darce choke. And Tony Ferguson gets a big win. Here's Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darce choke, Tony El Cucuy Ferguson! Tony Ferguson after the long rehab is back. I am here with the winner, El Kakui. First of all, Tony, welcome back. I know it's been a while for you. Uh, June, or May rather, of 2012, last time we saw in the Octagon, and a fantastic performance. How'd you feel out there tonight? I uh, felt like it was good. A uh, little bit of ring rust in the first couple seconds, got smacked, but I remember why I came here and I just did business. Well, you caught him with a clean left hook and had him hurt, and Eddie Bravo gave me the heads up that you got a nasty Darce choke, and man, you slapped that on in a beautiful fashion tonight. Yeah, I went for it the first time, but he kind of ducked under underneath it, and uh, what I did was I was patient, just waited for it, and just felt him kind of sinking before I even squeezed it, and then I squeezed it, and he was it. Take a look at the big screen. You can see it. Here's the left hook that connects. You had him hurt there with that. You saw it. You moved in on it, and here's the finish. You caught that Darce choke. Sunk it in, locked it up, dropped to your back, and that's a wrap. And that was it. That's all she wrote. Tempe. Congratulations, sir. Welcome back. Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Ferguson.
Thank you, guys. See All you that home. work at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, Costa Mesa, uh, paid you, off baby. tonight as he finishes Good job. Good job. with the Darce Choke, earning his fourth career win by submission and finishing the night of Mike Rio in less than two minutes. And he was absolutely prepared to start a new win streak here tonight. Yeah, fantastic performance by Tony Ferguson, a long time out, you know, May of 2012 to October of 2013. That's a lot of time sitting back thinking, and, you know, he noted that he felt like he had a bit, bit of ring rust, but, boy, that timing that he had with that left hook was absolutely perfect. And then, of course, that Dars choke is his specialty. He locked it up nice and got himself a, a, a much-needed victory. Very dangerous, dangerous fighter, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson with those hands, and now if he starts to put together that ground game, watch out. He's uh, only been defeated one time in his UFC career. So Tony Ferguson winner by submission here quickly in Houston.